This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by Audible. You're young and you have a business idea that hasn't been done yet in your country, but it's popular elsewhere. Should you do it? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. Today's question comes from Lisa, who writes, My brother and I had a business idea that we've talked about a lot. However, we quickly found out that what we plan to do is already a business in the United States. However, there is nothing like it that we can find in the UK. We had an idea of a giant <laughs> Might not sound like much, but if you were to look up some videos on YouTube of places like in Colorado, it seems like quite an exciting place. Being only 18 years old, I know our idea won't really be taken seriously. But as I said, there's nothing like it in the UK. So with it already being an idea that has turned itself into a business in another country, what would you recommend we do next? Lisa, you know, your question reveals a lot just in the way you ask it about what, uh, you know, a typical entrepreneur feels when they're starting something new. I mean, first of all, you, you mentioned that you're 18 years old. That absolutely does not matter. And do not worry about being taken seriously just because you're 18. When you have the greatest business idea, and, and frankly, it, it could be something that you're just deeply passionate about, you really have to just ignore the fact that you know you haven't done this before. Otherwise, no one would ever start new businesses. And I guarantee investors or people that you might be trying to approach aren't really going to be focused on, on that. They're going to be focused on the business idea. All right, so let's put that behind us for a minute. You will be taken seriously. The meat of your question is, if this has already been successful in the United States, does it really make sense to do it in the UK? And I think the answer is absolutely yes. If you know already that a business model has been proven and you can actually point to comparable businesses that have recognizable metrics that are actually presentable to investors, say, in, in your country, then that's the best kind of proof point that your business would be successful. In fact, it's in many ways the easiest, because imagine how many entrepreneurs start a business that has never been tested before. And they're in a position of having to prove it for the first time. You have the advantage of multiple cities um, who are trying your business idea that have proven that it can work. Um, now, there are some important uh, distinctions. You are trying to, to raise money for a business which is a locally based business, a retail business that requires people actually enter your establishment directly. And so, you know, that's one thing to consider. You probably aren't starting a business that will have a definite exit in a short time frame. By exit, I mean you're probably not going to sell the company or take it public in a few years. And so, reasonably, you should be looking for a type of investor that expects a very long horizon, or debt, if that's possible. Another thing to consider is you did, you know, without revealing all the details on the business plan, you actually did uh, talk about a business which has safety considerations and sometimes some regu regulatory components around safety. So make sure to check all of the details with um, local regulations, particularly in your country, that, that could impact your business. In a minute, we'll talk a little bit more about this idea of copying businesses that may exist in other countries. But first, let's thank our sponsors. Today's episode is brought to you by Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash askj to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash askj for your free audiobook. Looking for proven business models, I have to tell you, if I could go back 15 years and, and 20 years and, and do this all over again, I would have definitely considered looking at other countries and seeing what has been working there. Not necessarily that the timing's right to do it in my country, but it is a great way to find whether a business model works or not ahead of time. The internet creates a new environment where 
you know, obviously there's a certain globalization effect and you start a business in the United States, by definition, it's, it's a little bit uh, international already. Dig, while we didn't have any official international websites, we had a crazy amount of traffic. I want to say something like 40% of our traffic was international in origin. And so you can tell that you know, the, the rules are a little bit different in that game. But looking uh, around the world, we saw a number of different websites that were approaching crowdsourcing at different various stages of their evolution. And we were definitely able to learn from some of their experiences as we grew internationally. Now, um, if you're starting a business and it's a local business and you want to understand whether or not it's going to work, please remember to do your research on the differences, the cultural differences, between, say, a region uh, that you're in and the region where you've seen the success. An example would be uh, a business from the UK and the United States. While I absolutely believe that there's a lot of similarities, culturally there may be just enough differences that the business might have uh, different impacts. So do your research and then bring all that data with you when you go to raise money if you need to raise money for your business. Thanks for watching today's episode. Send your questions to askj at revision3.com. Follow us on YouTube at AskJ Adelson um, on the YouTube channel there. Or you can follow me on Twitter at, at Jay Adelson. Anyway, thanks for your interest, and until next time.